Yeah, back to the, the alignment uh, deal. And I kind of took, took this off the putting when you practice with, with skinny little lines. But in my view, they were too skinny and not, you didn't really get the true idea of what you're doing. So I just made it bigger. Just put electrician's tape, spray paint, and made that line a lot, lot bigger. You can see it, okay? And now I use these for putting to make certain that people can roll the ball, whatever grip it takes. If it's a half belly or it's a full, it's a, if it's cross-handed, if it's claw, if it's, if it's locked, I don't care. But you've got to find a way to spin that ball. Now, I just took it up a little bit further and use it um, to aim. So I have pre-positioned these balls. I know what target that's at. Now, the student comes in, okay, and I have him place the club perpendicular to that white line, take a stance parallel to this, visually you can see it, then I ask them, where do you think you're aimed? And invariably, there can be as much as 10 to 15 yards off. So I said, well, that's what you've been trying to groove a swing around, okay? So again, we're trying to do the same thing um, as we're doing putting. Spin it this way, putting this way, when it goes up in the air. To make that thing go right, you've got to hit a square, and you've got to hit it in the middle of the face, okay? So this is just an aiming quiz. So your eyes will fake you out, okay? Again, if it sounds complicated, it is wrong.